it's Friday, July 11th, 2014, and it's been raining on and off this afternoon, but it's kind of let up enough, so I decided to come outside and film. Um, actually, I have a, a new idea for videos, so this is the first in the series called um, Your Questions Answered. So welcome to the very first one, Your Questions Answered. And what I will do is take questions that I find on any of my videos and I might just answer them in a video. So if you have any questions for me, you can put them in the comment section and they can be about any of my videos that you have seen. They can be about crafting related. They can be... Um, Questions about me, myself, um, if they're too personal, of course, I'm not even going to answer them, but, you know, you can ask, and I might just feature you in one of these episodes. So, the question that was asked, and this was asked by Silver Cat Crafts, or Phyllis, and she had watched a video in which I featured, oops, this wallet, and she had asked me what kind of ID plastic I had used for this wallet because I had put in two flip-up IDs. So, oops, you can see it was really cold inside my house and I went outside and now it's not so cold. And See how this is fogged up? It's from the being cold in the cold air conditioning and like your windows when they fog up. So anyway, this was the wallet that I had done for a contest entry. And then the inside just had a billfold, a hidden, and then another billfold. And it had two flip-up IDs, six pockets, and two hiddens. And it just fits in like this. So you could put one on one side and you could actually put another one on the back or you can put pictures in there or whatever you wanted. But so here's a close up of the ID in the wallet. And I actually have another wallet that I used. I think this was maybe the second wallet I ever made, second or third. This was I believe the first wallet I ever made. So here's the same ID pocket in this wallet. You can see it's fogged up for being cold on the in, in the house and warm outside. But this was before I had discovered top loaders, and I just wanted to make a wallet, and I knew I needed ID plastic, and I wanted a flip-up ID. So, yeah, this is what I bought. I went to Hobby Lobby. And it's $2.99, and this is a six-pack of badge holders. And they come horizontal like this. And then this one is vertical. Okay. This was from Hobby Lobby. These were the first ones I got. And then I found them again in these packs like this. Sorry about the glare. Horizontal, which means this way. And vertical. And these. Uh, no, wait. These, look, these I got from Walmart. Sorry about that. These were from Walmart. And I don't remember how much they were. But yeah, these were from Walmart in the school supplies section, I think. So they, they look different. They come in different packages. But anyway, let me take out one. kind of see. And they're just a horizontal plastic thing. And they have a hole here, a hole here, and a hole here. And these are to put like your work IDs in 
and then you put the clip here and you wear it on a lanyard around your neck. That's what they are. So see your ID fits in like this and then your clip goes here. Okay. And then this is the vertical one. It's the same idea. Like this. Because some people have vertical badges that go like this. But I also thought you could use them in wallets if you wanted to tape them on the side and have it flip sideways. And they're, of course, not as thick as top loaders. But they're um, very good plastic. And I think they're easy to use, especially if you want a flip ID, like a flip up or a flip sideways ID. Because all you do is you stick them in your wallet. And then you put a piece of tape across here. You don't cut it off. You just tape across here. And that's what holds it down. And then you can stick your ID or whatever in here. Pictures, whatever you want. So, yeah, that's what I used. Um, thank you so much for asking about that. It's badge holders. Horizontal and vertical. And I actually found I used the horizontal the most. So, yeah. And these are the same thing. But these are good. Um, top loaders I find very difficult to cut. You know? So, if, especially if you're a younger person, you wouldn't even have to cut these. You could just take this, get this, take it out of the package, put it in your wallet wherever you want it, and then run a piece of tape across and fold it in. And then you have your flip-up ID, or if you wanted to do it sideways, you could run your tape along the side and have your flip-open ID like this. So yeah, that way you don't have to worry about cutting top loader, loaders. It's a lot safer, and this is good enough quality plastic for that. So in answer to your question, it's badge holders that you would use at work. And I know now some high schools, especially some junior highs, are requiring their kids to have an ID badge that they wear at school. So this is the plastic that you would put those badges in and wear it around your neck. So yeah, thanks for asking. and. Hope you like this series, and if you um, have any questions for me, put them in the comments. Bye.